Good afternoon, everyone. Vicar Jesse here from Bethlehem Lutheran Church with a daily message of encouragement that comes from Scripture. Today's Scripture comes from Ephesians 4. Now this I say and testify in the Lord, that you must no longer walk as the Gentiles do, in the futility of their minds. They are darkened in their understanding, alienated from the life of God because of the ignorance that is in them, due to their hardness of heart. They have become callous and have given themselves up to sensuality, greedy to practice every kind of impurity. But that is not the way you learned Christ. Assuming that you have heard of him and were taught in him, as the truth is in Jesus, to put off your old self, which belongs to your former manner of life and is corrupt through deceitful desires, and to be renewed in the spirit of your minds and to put on the new self, created after the likeness of God in true righteousness and holiness. Therefore, having put away falsehood, let each one of you speak the truth with his neighbor, for we are members one of another. Be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your anger and give no opportunity to the devil. Let the thief no longer steal, but rather let him labor doing honest work with his own hands so that he may have something to share with anyone in need. Let no corrupt talk come out of your mouths, but only such as is good for building up, as fits the occasion, that it may give grace to those who hear. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, by whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and slander be put away from you, along with all malice. Be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, as God in Christ forgave you. This week I'd like to look at scripture that talks about the changed life, that process of sanctification, that through faith in Jesus Christ and through our baptism, we receive the Holy Spirit, and that Holy Spirit changes us. We put off our old self, and put on our new self that is created in the likeness of God in true righteousness and holiness. Man's holiness and righteousness was lost in the fall when Adam and Eve disobeyed God. But through Christ, through the Holy Spirit, it's restored and we're once again reconciled with, with God. That reconciliation that grace, it changes us. And this week, we'll talk about that. Paul, in Ephesians, begins to talk about that, saying that we should forgive those who we come in contact with as Christ has forgiven us, to change the way we speak, to change the way we act. And we do all this through the Holy Spirit, because God first forgave us. Hopefully you found some reassurance in this message, some comfort. If there's anything we can do for you at Bethlehem Lutheran Church, please feel free to reach out to us via email at office at blcdelmar.com. Or if there's anything I can do for you, you can reach me directly at wilson at blcdelmar.com. As always, God bless you. Have a wonderful day.